Hey everybody, this is Dan and Rach from Primal for Life, and we are putting a pizza together with a new Paleo Pizza Crust mix that Julian Bakery is coming out with soon. And uh, here is the mixture right there. And we are what do we what kind of pizza are we making, babe? Um, well, we're gonna do a mixture. We're gonna have pizza and none part of it. We're gonna have some like hamburger and regatta, mozzarella, some salami, mm. and then we have to have a little section for the kid that's just sauce and cheese. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> um, so we're gonna get this going. We have our pizza stone heating up in the oven. You gotta get it um, started out at a cold oven and bring it to 425, so we're doing that. So we're gonna get our crust mixture going, and uh, you gotta bake that first um, for a little bit before you do your topping. So um, we're gonna start this. You're, all we're gonna do is add a half a cup of water to this uh, paleo pizza crust um, mixture that's coming out soon from Julian Bakery. And Dan, why don't you tell them what's in it while I mix this up? Well, it's a blend of almond flour, arrowroot flour, pumpkin, well I should say pumpkin powder, dried egg whites, and xanthan gum. And I can't wait to try it out because it sounds very interesting. Now that it's all combined with the mixer, we're just going to uh, form it into a ball. And definitely has the consistency of uh, dough, so that's a good start. Being a uh, paleo is tough. You don't get to eat pizza, so we're really looking forward to this. And now we're going to put our ball on our parchment paper. And we're going to start rolling it out into a 10 inch crust. Maybe we should have the person with the muscle do this. Allie. Yeah. Okay, now that we've got it all rolled out um, into a nice, somewhat even shape here, where you now need to prick the crust all over. So I have uh, one of these little things on my roller, but you could um, just use a fork also. So I'm going to prick this all up. And then we are going to put it in the oven on our pizza stone that's already heated and ready to go. And we got to bake it for about 11 minutes, I think you said, Dan? 9 to 11 minutes. Okay. And then we'll be back to show you um, what it looks like and get our toppings on. Okay, we've let our crust bake for... Uh, 11 minutes. Looks great. We're going to take it out Ooh, and put our <laughs> toppings on it and uh, bake it in for another 11 to 13 minutes. Okay, all the ingredients are on. All salt right, and we, we have salt. Well, well, we'll do our whole thing. So there's sauce all over the pizza and then mozzarella on this part. Some goat cheese is under here. And then we have some sautéed hamburger um, all, all over around. the all around. And then we did this is parts for Alessia. That's all she likes. So then over here we added some ricotta and some basil, salt, pepper. And then here we have some uncured salami, as well as ricotta, basil, salt, and pepper. Nice. So Dan's Dan's corners the little meat lovers. Yeah. I'm gonna put a steak on top of that. <laughs> so we're gonna put that back in the oven for about 11 to 13 minutes, and uh. It's already looking delicious, so I really hope this crust is as amazing as it smells and looks because definitely missing eating pizza. <laughs> all right, here it is. All done. And just keep an eye out on juliabakery.com slash paleo for this paleo pizza crust mix, which will be out soon. And Rachel tasted a little bite. It was excellent. It was excellent. So I cannot wait to try it because we've been missing pizza for quite some time now. All right? And me. And you too. So this is Dan, Rach, and Allie from Primal for Life. Have a great oh day. Oh, my God. This is so delicious. Thank you, Paleo Peeps.